Once again, we're bringing you some more good skateboard history. Tonight, we're going to bring you some stuff straight from the 70s. Straight out the 70s, yo. This isn't you the know. 90s. Yeah, I, yo. see, see. <laughs> that's just it. Straight out the 70s, yo, which hadn't even been invented yet in the 70s. Uh, yet, so, yo. You know. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. It's all I ever hear is Marsha. <laughs> We're going to bring you some Brady Bunch episodes straight out of the 70s. Marsha, 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 right here. Oh, top page. Cal Jam 2. Now this, this says 70s more than anything. We've got the three July major magazines. 1978. We've got the three major magazines that were happening back in the 70s. Skateboarder, which was the premier magazine at the time. The Holy Grail, the Bible. Look at that. Man. Skateboard Damn. World. Which was the second premier magazine? Yeah, they were okay. They had some good photography. Is that Stacey and Marley then kind of, kind of the National Choir of <laughs> skateboarding at the time. Wild World of skateboarding. But the thing is, Wild World of skateboarding covered Cal Jam too. Now, can you tell me who was at Cal Jam too? Who was, was playing there? Ted, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. <laughs> Ted Nugent. <laughs> how many? How much you need? We're talking big name stars. Big name ramps, big name pros, free former team, free former team. The Grace brand of the seventy-eight. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey man, <laughs> these were the three big magazines during right. that time period. Is that so, Andrew? Tell me, for tell, me tell me what it says about Cal Jam. That says top page right there. Yeah, well, uh, look in there sure. and see who. What it says about? I'm trying to figure out who's doing you know, this. This, hey, this hey. Andrew is actually Tay Hunt, I believe. And that's upside down. Tay Hunt in I, 1979 I that might be. on a not so, full size board, and yeah. he's doing so. A, check my down check my listen, skateboard I'm gonna, knowledge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look here in the contents. Check my skateboard knowledge. Tay Hunt, you're right. Tay Hunt. Never heard of him, but I, that's, that's uh, not saying. So look at this. One of the very football. first pictures ever of uh, anyone doing an ollie. Really? Front Which, side ollie. Front side fly out, no hands. Which is? No handed fly out. Which is who? Is it Caballero? No, it's got to no, be no, Alan Gelfand. Alan Gelfand. Gelf okay. Gelf this was... I remember seeing this magazine and seeing that sequence and going, oh my God, you can't For do you that. kids at home, that picture me. right there is why you have the Ollie. <laughs> that's why That's why Jamie Foy is jumping down sets of nine. Yes. <laughs> it's because of this. That is an Ollie. A no-handed yeah. flyer. Yeah. Well, probably and you know what? Another, another beautiful thing about the 70s and also yeah, yeah. on this same Look page. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Those beautiful airbrush oh. graphics on those boards. Look Jesus. at that. Look at that beautiful oh. airbrushing. God, Look at that. Look awesome. at that. You're an artist. You no. should appreciate that. Appreciate so, that. so see you've got a page bookmarked here. What do we got? Oh. We have skate park. Oh, tickets. it's it's your free pass to your local skate park. <laughs> That's yes. something that you wouldn't see in Thrasher these days. Well, because skate parks are public now. Yeah. But that's pretty really awesome. That. Any uh, what's good Look, on there? Look, Jetway skate Jetway. parks. Jetway. Jetway skate parks. These guys were out of Memphis. Uh, they had a couple of parks there. They had one in Germantown. They had one in Bartlett. Really? There Moon may have been a dust. third one. Oh. I mean, I did, the, I did the park in Memphis. Yeah. So there so was Sensation there was least, Basin. There was oh, that's Florida. Yeah, that's, that's, that was, that's one like the second second park in the name United States, right? It was like Kona then Sensation Basin. I'm not real sure. Mellow Cat, there. man. Mellow Cat cartoons. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Wow. Oh, Tony look Alva. Alva. He, See, uh, here now, once again, I've, I've talked about this once before. You know, this was when advertising moved from skateboarding, what is skateboarding, and pictures of skateboards and skateboard wheels, to skateboarding as a lifestyle. Here is this guy with big hair surrounded by skateboard wheels. As, as, I don't, you know, there's <laughs> but, no skateboarding, not skateboarding in the picture. This is part of the lifestyle. But look at that Vans ad. Those are the same vans that the kids at the, are buying at Journeys at the mall right now. And what do you got for Collector's Corner, J.D.? What'd you what bring you got, us today? What you got, what you got, we've, got a, we've got a real gym here. So, and now, straight, this is what it, you're seeing. Look at this thing. This is oh, what man. we were looking at in those skateboard magazines. And I thought that was a reprint. Now, that this is a reprint. Really what, what year is this, J.D.? 77, 78. Where's the, where's the Bible at? Uh, that's what I was looking for. This is 77 or 78, Logan Erskine. 
Bruce Dura Bobby and June 26, 1970. We've got a, we've got some reference I'm not really sure what year it came out, but it's it is definitely OG. And uh this comes from my buddy that had a skate shop in Maryville in the 70s that closed and he put all the crap in the closet and I ended up with it. So it's a brand new 77, 78, Bob Binky, the bullet. Bob and it. Yep. Original Z boy. No, he wasn't the bullet. That was that was a that, that was, was different? a different that was a different Bob. Really? Yeah. Okay. Bob Enick. Bob Enick was an original dog Z, cutter. He was, yeah, he was an original Z boy. He did not invent the bullet. That was Bob Moore. Really? Bob. I yes, don't know. That now. was a different Bob. But this oh. is a prime board. This is in great shape. Beautiful shape. No. Uh, Here we go. Here's the Earth skis. No degradation <laughs> on a graphic. No, that's uh that's too early Earth skis. Yeah. Um. Beautiful. See, beautiful they may not board. even have one in the book. You know, this this board is like um, probably a seven ply. I think it's, I think it's a, it may be an eight ply birch, but one thing, I, you count them. It's an eight. You're it's right. It's an eight ply birch. There it is, uh, right here. Yeah. It's the Bob it's 1977 Bob Benniak Girl Light. And this is this is right before. Right there. This is right before. <laughs> Uh, this is like an eight and a half inch board. Who needs the internet? This is right before the pig revolution when boards started getting big and they went from eight and a half to nine to nine and a half to ten very quickly right after this. I have Another thing you'll notice about this board is the edges aren't routered at all. This is very square edge so it would chip up really quick when you're riding it. But since it's an eight ply and the ply was so dense it would last a long time. Yeah, this was a big skateboard for 77. I mean, for, this was a huge... Yeah. I, I remember when they... And still, I can't imagine, like, if that's what I had to ride at the park. I, and that's I, why... I, I definitely well, remember... I would ride from, that thing at the park. <laughs> I'd ride it. I'd ride it. Yeah, if that's all I had, I'd ride it at the park, too. And I remember them going, uh, this was a significantly uh, wider board for that time period. All of a sudden, it was like, boom. It was like, Then oh a fiber flex. And then or the or anything, yeah, yeah. Or a Hobie yeah. or anything. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Let's talk about these trucks and wheels. Lasers. Lasers. Wow. Laser Laser trucks. trucks. They're two-tool trucks. Two-tool trucks. Exactly. Yeah. And you had to have a special riser pad, which I cannot find anywhere. For them. So, if any of you guys out there in internet land, you want to get some laser riser pads, where they just are they just rare. cut the same way as the base plate. Yes, yes. And, you exactly. cannot, and you cannot find lasers. There's somebody. Right. Somebody has one in his grandma's basement that he doesn't. Well, even I need know two about. or four or six or eight. As many as you got. <laughs> yes, because you cannot find them. And these trucks, I I rode some for just a little while. I it, I rode the wider version. Right, which bend when you when you would do stuff, they would the I, axles would bend down. That's what you told me yeah. that they would bend. The I, eight, I the eights would. I guess I never really uh, rode them long enough to know. You know, I never rode any of the skinnier lasers. I rode some of the wider. The wider ones, ones was, but I didn't ride them for very long, so I never saw them bend. I know I know they turned very well. It doesn't uh, say how much they sold for, but they sold. Well, you know, and the and that. the. Uh, the pivots, the pivots, pivots were yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Holy crap! It was, uh, it was kind of more like a. Uh, I thought Goings had a bend. Yeah, yeah. Dang. They were kind of a. Uh, uh, they were worse like than a, a Bennett. Yeah, worse than a Bennett. I mean, the up and down vertical of the pivots. Mm -hmm. Interesting okay. trucks. They had the. It wasn't round here. They were all squared off. That's hexagonal. just poor machining back there. <laughs> no, no, it was it was a trademark. Man. It was the bowl. It was how they right made here. it. Benny's so, gonna find me some riser pads. So. What are these wheels? I think last time I saw this board, I called them yo-yos. They're, yo -yos. they're these hot, are hot lips. lips. They're hot, hot lips. lips. Got like hot lips. They're so soft you can squeeze them. Now <laughs> that is a rare. I would wheel. say this setup right here with the laser trucks. And the hot lips and this Erski, this thing's worth several hundred dollars. I'd say I'd say these wheels are yeah, worth a, the, as much as the whole board. It's a, it's a, it's a thousand dollar board, probably. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. More than like beautiful, like. beautiful board. Thanks for and bringing it. And it's all in, in, in brand new shape. It's shape. all in brand new shape. The wheels, the shape. Here's a collection of about ten of them for a hundred bucks. Of laser vein yes. riser pads? A little pile. That's a hundred dollars. I know, but you yeah. think I made a money? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got bills to pay. A hundred dollars <laughs> worth ten of riser pads. Let's see. Let me figure that out. Yeah, I can get twenty bucks for two. They well, do. that's ten for a hundred. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's a hundred. How, how many sets of lasers you got? <laughs> He's got at least about five. four. Yeah. <laughs> That's eighty dollars. That's eighty bucks. That's how nerdy. Thanks, you buddy. Get when you're talking about, you know, 
uh, skateboard parts, especially old skateboard parts from the 70s. But how many I people mean, knew there was a different riser pad for lasers versus people I like you? I knew. Well, I know that. Like you. But you're, you're, you're older than I am. That's why I got rid of my lasers years you're ago. You're older than dirt because you couldn't afford your riser pad. <laughs> <laughs> so that just goes to show you how old we are and how we've got to blow dust off our riser pads <laughs> and all our memories to even figure out what we're doing anyway. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Thanks for coming by and hanging out and watching us talk about riser pads. Subscribe to our channel. We're good. Everybody's going to hang out here. Yeah!